Hey guys, so today's video is going to be something a My little bit, <laughs> your Dowie, a little bit different. Oh, yeah. We are going to go to Kmart and do a shop with me and haul video. I haven't done one of these before on my channel, but I figured since we're going to be building that house soon, why not go and check out all the homewares and all the lovely things that we can fill our house with. You did see me the other day go to Adair's and um, Super Amart. I think they're the shops that I went to the other day and the good guys for some furniture and a fridge and an oven and all that fun stuff. One of the things that I really want to do with our home is pair some pretty yeah. affordable things with some more high-end things to make it feel a little bit more luxurious. So I thought I would head to Kmart and see what kind of bargain things they have there that could dress up the house and keep my budget on the down low. So let's just head to Kmart. We'll see you guys there. One of the accent colors of our house is going to be black. And you guys, look what I found. How adorable are these chopping boards? They would look so cute in my kitchen. They are $19 for the big one and $15 for the small one, but they are so adorable. Okay, you guys, I'm pretty sure you've got the theme that we're going for in the new house. There's gonna be a lot of black things, but how adorable is this? I think this is probably gonna be one of those things that ends up on my kitchen table with maybe fruit or something, but it's pretty cute. What do you think? Is it cute? Should we get it? Do you like it? Sam doesn't care, he's just eating his hot chips. You're eating your hot chips, huh? <laughs> By the way, this is only $8. It's amazing. Something else I found in the kitchen section was this adorable chopping board with the feet on it. This would be great for a cheese platter, you guys. It looks so nice and it would go so well with the other ones. <gasps> you guys, if you're obsessed with blush pink like I am, look at these little placemats. They got it in blush pink, they've got it in a nice maroon color. Wow, they've got it in a timber color. And oh my goodness, they've even got it in a light gray. Do you like them? Yeah. So the other day I showed you the bed that I was going to get from Super Amart for Sam. Well, I've already got his quilt cover. It's this little dinosaur quilt cover. It's grey on one side, navy blue on the other. And on one side it's got grey, I think grey dinosaurs. And then the other side it's got navy blue. I thought that would be super cute in his room. And I got it in a double, so it's already purchased. This is basically going to be the theme of his big boy room and I'm super excited. What do you guys think? How cute is that? One of the main things I get frustrated about, especially with all department stores, not just Kmart, is the lack of boy stuff. There are so many cushions and things here for girls' bedrooms. There's barely anything for boys and if there is, it's just pretty ugly to be honest, which is a bit disappointing. Yeah, so one of the things I'm most excited about the new house is actually having some closets. I don't know about you guys, but we have had no cupboards in our house for like 12 years. I think we've had our house now for 12 years. We've had no cupboards, so Christmas is definitely a must, and I'm gonna be pretty anal about it and get all matching. I just want all the kids' ones to be the greeny, bluey color ones, the aqua, what do you call it? I think it's aqua. And I think in our master suite, I'm gonna get a sack of black ones. So I think these are the ones I'll end up getting for our bedroom. Again, they're the velvet ones, and I just think that they'll look so nice in our closet. This is one of the main reasons why I came to Kmart today to get one of these stools. This is to help Sammy with his potty training, but we're also gonna put that in the main bathroom area, so I've got something to sit on when the kids are having a bath.
Okay, so far came out are the cheapest for these chairs that I've been able to find. They're $35 each. This was basically the chair we're going to have um, go with our kitchen table. We're actually going to build it. Um, if you watched our last video, you would have seen that we're going to attempt to build our kitchen table. But these were the chairs that we were thinking about going with for the kitchen table. And then these babies were what we were thinking about getting for our island. So they look a little bit more expensive than what they are. The chairs are only $35 each, and considering we need to get 10 of them, that's not too expensive. Everywhere else they seem to be around the $100 mark. And then the stools are only $25 each, so not too expensive and very affordable. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is so cute. This would look so nice on my dresser to put my jewelry in. I might have to come back for one of these. Can you touch it? What's it feel like? Does it feel a little bumpy? You guys, if you are in love with blush pinks at the moment, this vase is so pretty. So it's got the gold stand and the glass has got like a pink tone to it. It is really, really pretty. Oh my goodness, you guys, how adorable are these little pet food bins and bowls? Look at that. Oh my goodness. You guys, we are home. The little guy is napping, thank goodness, because he was having some major meltdowns in the store. But I did want to share with you today what we got. I picked up a couple of things today, and I've also got a couple of things to show you that I picked up um, over the last couple of weeks. So I thought I would include them in today's haul as well. But first, I'm going to start off with this bad boy. So this is the bamboo step stool. I actually got this to go in the new house, but also we can use it now. Sam is about the age where I want to start potty training him. I'm not sure if he's 100% ready yet. Obviously, it's still cold outside here in Australia or South Australia. It's pretty chilly this week in particular. He has a cold at the moment, so the last thing I want him to do is be running around with no pants on. We really don't have heating in this house. It's drafty AF. And I don't want him getting sick. So hopefully as the weather starts warming up, we can start potty training him. But basically I got this so that he can reach the toilet to begin with. I also got it so that in the new house, in the bathroom area where he's going to have his baths, I can sit down and watch him and whatever. Um, it can also serve as a stool for him to go potty in the new house and also brush his teeth in the basin in the new house as well. So many, many uses. It's a very cute, pretty affordable. It was $19. Actually, I saw some would you call it bathroom wear? I don't know what you call it. Basically little black um, toothbrush holders and things like that and soap holders with a timber bamboo base on them. I thought that they would look super cute with this and go really well together. So I might be heading back to Kmart to get them. But basically I've got this today. This was $19. I think I already said that. I really like it. Let's move on to the next item. The last thing that I picked up today from Kmart were all of these hangers. So basically I'm going a little bit OCD on the new house, making sure everything matches. I saw these in Kmart and I just absolutely loved them. You get 10 for $3. So pretty inexpensive I guess for hangers I don't know how much do hangers normally cost I've got no idea we don't have cupboards in this house so this is a whole new foreign concept to me basically every room in the new house is going to have a walk-in robes or built-in rooms and in the kids room I thought it'd be super cute if they had all matching hangers I'm a bit anal in that sort of sense where I really really want everything to match and I thought that I had enough of them until I bought Sam's four and five clothes and realized that I did not have enough so I went back and picked up another few packets I think I have nine packets all up now hopefully that's enough for both both kids rooms we don't even have two kids that live at home at the moment but um we may one day hopefully have more children and these will work for them Moving on to the things that I previously bought that I wanted to share with you. Basically, I'm going to get this bed right here for Sam. It's from Super Amar. I believe it's $180. I don't know. I'm thinking about getting it in the next couple of weeks. To go with his new bed, I picked up this quilt cover. Like I said, I showed it to you in the shops today. Um, it's just got dinosaurs on it. It is grey and navy blue on one side. So navy blue dinosaurs with grey background. 
or white dinosaurs and navy blue on the other side so it's reversible I thought it was super cute very age appropriate for a four-year-old Sam is gonna be going on about four when we move back into the house and I just thought it was absolutely adorable it is in a double bed size so it will fit his new bed the next thing I need to try and find is some throw cushions and sheets to go with this so if you know of anywhere that sells a very very cute throw cushions that I don't know are in the shape of a dinosaur because I can't seem to find any let me know in the comments because I would love to get him a dinosaur pillow to put on his bed that would somewhat match the quilt but anyway got this for him also to go in his room I picked up these balls I showed them to you in the store there is 10 string lights in there they're battery operated I don't know I just really like the fact that they're white gray and black it could go with anything that he has in his room he is getting a black bed so even if he changes quilt covers as he gets older um, these should still fit and lastly for Sam's room I picked up some decals these were actually on clearance a few weeks ago so you can't get them anymore these were on sale for one dollar a packet I actually have three packets one just fell on the floor so I'm just showing you two but basically these are just blue triangles that's that's basically how it is it's blue triangles there are different stripes and colors and whatnot in them I believe they're just there's a plain one let me see if I can open this for you there is a plain light blue one, there is a plain navy blue one, and then there's the navy blue and white striped ones. I just thought that that was super cute. Again, age appropriate. They could go up or down in terms of age group for him. And depending on which wall his bed is on, these are going to go on the wall behind it. I haven't decided whether I'm going to make them symmetrical yet or not. I think that might be too hard. I don't know. Maybe I'll just throw them on wherever. I love decals in kids' rooms. I think that they're super easy to put on, super easy to take off. You can make or break a room with them. And for a dollar a packet, you really can't beat that. The, ne the next thing I want to share with you is something for the nursery. Fun fact, well, not really fun. It was actually quite heartbreaking. We actually just sold our nursery, um, I think, two weeks ago. I believe two weeks ago, one week ago, the day before Sam's birthday party. I don't know. We sold Sam's nursery furniture, so his cot, his dresser, and his change table. We still have the bassinet because if we are lucky enough to get pregnant again, we'll still use that. But basically, all the big furniture is not going to go in the new house. It's all brown tones, and our house is going to be white and black and grey tones. So we decided to sell it, and basically because I got all that furniture on a super clearance, it was, I guess, end of financial year, and it was also the end of a line, like discontinued, I managed to basically get almost what I paid for all the furniture back. So that was really good. That has been put aside so that we can repurchase our nursery furniture when the time comes when we need it, if we need it again one day. But I did find this cute little money box. This is basically the theme I'm going to go with in the new nursery just something simple white and gray whimsical I think it's really pretty this was on clearance for two dollars you guys two dollars for a cute little cloud money box and I just thought it was so cute and I had to pick it up so that is basically giving you an idea of what the theme for our next nursery if we're very blessed and lucky enough to have another baby this is what colors it's going to be in there but I thought it was so cute the last thing that I got was this glorious ginormous mirror. It is an 80 centimeter mirror from Kmart. It was $29. It's just a simple plain black round mirror, black frame round mirror, I guess you call it. Um, it was $29. It is beautiful. I really liked it. I just love the simpl simplicity of it. Oh my goodness, I can't even get my words out today. I thought it would look super cute with an 80 centimeter long floating timber shelf underneath it, which Matt and I are actually going to try and make. God help us, hopefully it works because I have a vision in my head what our furniture is going to look like and it's probably going to be a flop. But who knows, we're going to give it a go. Um, I just thought this would look really, really cute with a little nice bowl sitting underneath it and maybe a picture frame, a candle, I don't know. I'm not a very good stylist, but I thought that it would look fancy on a budget and I could dress it up with some more expensive pieces and I don't know, my house might look somewhat Pinterest worthy, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But yeah, $29 for this mirror. I was very happy with it. I thought it was super cute and I picked it up because basically every time I go to Kmart, they're pretty much sold out. There was only two left on the shelf when I got this one. So I don't know if this is something that they're going to keep in stock for a really long time. I'll try and have everything that's still available linked down below so you can maybe get it if that's something you're interested in. But I really loved that mirror. I loved everything that I've picked up. 
I'm sure you've probably got the vibe of what we're going for in the new house. Basically, we're going to have black window frames, so I wanted to try and incorporate some blacks through the house and just keep it simple and elegant. But I still wanted to bring that farmhouse element in with the timber and just keep it greys and whites and I guess liven it up with plants and cushions. I don't know if I'm making any sense. But anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing something slightly different on this channel. A little bit more upbeat and happy and exciting. And if you want to see more shopping hauls, because I'm sure there's going to be plenty more considering we're building a whole new house, let me know in the comments below and I will take you guys along with me and show you all of the design process and what's going on in my head because... Not even I know what's going on in my head half the time. But anyway, leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we will see you in our next video. Bye, guys.